Hello, my soccer universe. Uh, <laughs> I thought I'd do a much more lighthearted um, short talk video this time uh, because, you know, I don't want to rant all of that. I'm not that angry <laughs> most of the time, so I want to do something like that. Too. I want to talk about Jersey Jinx. And it's not only how I jinx teams, but also in general. Maybe let's start with the, gen uh, the, the general before we go in there. I, because of the Jersey Jinx, and it goes in there. I'm wearing Milan because they are one of those teams that really, 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 really want that, um, you know, they believe they have a lucky jersey and an unlucky jersey. Um, and also, since it's the day of the Champions League final, I'm not wearing any of the final finalists because I want the better team to win, or the best team to win, you know? I don't want to influence it. Crazy, isn't it? We'll talk about that in a sec. But let's first talk about lucky jerseys and cursed jer uh, jerseys. And Chelsea is, is one is, is one of these. I'm actually happy that they stay now for the final, seemingly with the 2021 jersey. It's not like not my favorite Chelsea jersey. In fact, in fact I never really liked it there that much. Um, and I'm not sure if I like the new one uh, as, as well. However, they played it with it twice, lost two finals with it. The Women's Champions League final, rather emphatically against Barcelona, and now the um, and DFA Cup final, which, yeah, I mean, they, let's put that, but the FA Cup was not their first priority. Um, as is the decision, say a sample size of two uh, does not say anything that uh, this jersey is unlucky, uh, but I have kind of in jest saying in my videos, yeah, they should really think about varying the one from 2021. And I cannot really remember that many teams uh, reverting back to their old look for the rest of the season, except when they were forced in the Champions League final, like I think Barcelona was in 2015, when they had already released the hooped jersey. And now, uh, and then they had to uh, play in the pre period zone, which was good because this was a great jersey. Uh, but I told you a story before. So, yeah, um, as I said, Milan is the prime example. They will, and actually, I probably should have worn a white jersey, but uh, I'll make an argument that is actually proper to wear it this way. Milan is trying everything to not play in red and black in a European final because uh, it is so funny to me. Uh, they lost, I think they played three times in red and black. Uh, and they lost the one uh, in 58 against Real Madrid, which where Real Madrid was by far the better team. And they're the only team that actually got Real Madrid to an overtime. Then they won in, 16, uh, in 69, varying, uh, very si uh, similar to this one. And actually it is an homage to that jer uh, jersey, it just had a v-neck and not a crew neck. Um, the one against Ajax 4-1, their second most emphatic win. So, uh, you know, if you have thin stripes, please wear that one. And then uh, they lost, of course, a 93-1, Marco van Basten's last, last game one game that still hurts me a little bit because Milan was that season definitely the best team, but on that day Marseille was just uh, better. And Milan didn't have, uh, you know... <sighs> Maybe playing from Boston was not the smartest, smartest idea, but it went then so far that when Milan was the home team in the 95 final, they went with white. Because you have won, uh, at that point, I think they have won every final in white. Um, this was the, uh, the first one, the 63 one then the 89, then the 90 final and the 94 final. So they won four or four in white. They went four out of one. And then I said, okay, now with that, it is unscientific, small Sam Sam says, can we please put this to rest? No. Against Juventus, the next time they were in the final, of course they won it then. <laughs> uh, they again pulled out in white George, which was against the black and uh, black and white of Juventus, which was not the greatest jersey matchup ever. It was all very monochrome, but you know, I think it just worked because Juventus was wearing, wearing, wearing black shorts. Um, and then again, three years later against Liverpool, white, okay, uh, we all, uh, it made sense. I, was Liverpool even, the, whatever it was, um, you lose in white, so you know, it doesn't matter what you wear. It really does not matter what you wear. And I actually would love if Milan could go back uh, at some times to, especially against an opponent like 
Ajax or like Marseille, a team that actually plays in a light, 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 light even Juventus play in your black and red. It's a great look, to be honest. So uh, just saying that. So Milan, for me, they think they're jinxed. Yes, I saw enough finals invited they have lost and not all too happy about it. And at least twice uh, in 95 and in 2003, it resulted in rather non-pleasing jersey matchups although i read the other day that people can consider the 95 final to be one of the best looking ones i'm not entirely sure about that i actually think if they were both played in their traditional looks and i know this would have mean, meant milan pro in black pants which is also a look i don't like um it would have looked better it's just my feeling uh you know i i, I love the those two, those two teams in their traditional looks playing again because they look great um but hey uh it is what it is i'm still not quite sold on those purplish ajax shirts so this is where teams and Milan is a prime example. I mean, they even have an unlucky shirt, the black one, which uh, I think Galliani, when they beat Arsenal 4-0 in 2012 uh, in the Champions League, uh, they were then slated to play in black at Arsenal. And Galliani tried to do everything to not play in black because at that uh, time they had not won, I think, for two, two seasons in a row in black jersey. And uh, he really wanted to avoid that. It's an unlucky jersey. No. Milan still, yes, wore uh, black and saw, saw, saw themselves uh, yeah, confirmed being 3 0 down at halftime, which is still something, yeah, this only Milan can, 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 can do to blow big leads and make it uncomfortable. At least the second half back there, uh, they played well. Um, speaking of uh, jersey jinx, there's a little bit also this in, in, in there that the color of the jersey matters, where the study in English football um, resulted in that red jerseys win more often than others. Uh, there's a big confounding variable in there, namely that uh, the three of the very best teams in England play in red. Liverpool, United, or United, Liverpool take a pick and Arsenal. This is so, so, so confounded. If, if you would try to transfer to this World Cup, I think there was only, uh, the th red was worn three times in the World Cup final, to my knowledge. That was in 34 and 38, where they lost out to blue, and in 66, when England won in red. But I think ever since, whenever there was some, uh, and, and I, don't, I don't think ever a red nation has uh, made it since to the final, the one that did in Spain actually had to play in blue. And orange is closer to red and that didn't work, work out, out for the Netherlands. This is absolute BS. You don't win because your shirt color is different. Yeah, Austria changed to red home jerseys because of that. Uh, and while I get it with the flag, I still don't like the. I still like my Austrian jerseys. White and black is just a better look. And now, with all this ridiculousness, with jinxing and whatever, and unlucky and lucky jersey, let's talk about my own jersey, jersey jinx, because I am guilty as charged. As you can tell, uh, from I mean, the previous part, this is more me. Uh, this is more how I, th I think I'm. Uh, I think I'm a pretty rational person overall. I like to look at facts. I study statistics, so I mean, I am a little bit in there. And from what I'm gonna tell you, I have no empirical data. I have only anecdotal data, and that's the problem. Uh, I know humans. If something goes wrong, this has a much bigger impression on yourself than if something goes 100 times right. It's just how we are wired. This is how you survive in the wild. There's one big mistake. You will remember that, that mistake, but you don't remember the many times you did it right in many ways. So, having said that, here are my two jersey jinxes. That's why I'm uh, on a match day. If there's a team that I support, I am not wearing their jersey unless I'm going to the stadium. That's the only exception. It is stupid as can be. Uh, and I've been actually, and I've been avoiding this now for years. 
Absolutely. I wear the jersey a afterwards, which, uh, you know, if a team won or, or whatever, or a team that I like, which uh, always has a little bit of glory hunter thing behind it. Yes, maybe there's a tad, I, I, I don't deny it, but um, it's mostly because I want to wear that freaking jer uh, jersey, and so let's wear it in all its glory. I'm wearing the whole week more or less Milan, except, haha. <laughs> Venezia is in Serie A. I've been wearing Friday Venezia all day long, except for the preview video for the Champions League final. So, yes. <sighs> Have I been going wrong with that? Probably. Should I worry about it? No, I probably shouldn't. Have I tried it? Yes, I actually <laughs> I tried it very recently even, um, for my daughter's uh, ninth birthday. I decided to put on this wonderful uh, 1920, no, no, 19, yeah, the 1920 Real Madrid away jersey, the dark blue with, with 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 the gold because we had my aunts over and I thought, yeah, I have to put something nicer on. Not realizing that Real Madrid is playing the same day and they are gone, I turn on, ah, Real Madrid is playing and they were playing Cardiff, I think. Uh, you know, some small team, I think it was Cardiff, but I'm, I'm, I'm not going to say, of course they're losing. Of course they're losing. I jinx them. I totally jinx them. And I've been uh, here and here and there. I say, okay, I don't care about the team. I, I, I will try, but it definitely doesn't work. It definitely does, doesn't work if I watch a Milan Derby. It does not work if I would put on an Inter jersey. I have not tried it, but I'm absolutely certain. And then I, w I mean, I would be called dead in that in, in the case. I'd rather wear something completely different there. Uh, and yeah. I'm crazy. I even go so far that even if I let, let's say the game is in the evening and, and I take a shower, shower before the game, so I, I would switch the jersey. No, I'm totally avoiding anything, uh, let's say anything Milan or Lusk on that day. Absolutely 100%. Doesn't make any sense. I agree. That's how I roll. But I've noticed now a second one, and this is my jersey acquisition jinx. Whenever I have acquired now a jersey of a team of of a team for my collection that I want to show off on the channel, as soon as I have the jersey, that that team usually takes a little dip. Q uh, early April in the Bundesliga. I definitely want to have a Frankfurt and a Wolfsburg jersey. As soon as I had them both bought, both teams took a nose dive. Does this make sense? No, it doesn't make any sense. Either I'm the most powerful person in soccer, which I would love to be, or I'm a complete nutcase, which I would hate to be. Are you superstitious? I, I really, I, I despise almost any superstition, but in these two cases, I am superstitious as it comes and I have no idea why. But you know, you gotta have, you gotta be wacky when it comes to soccer. I'm wacky. I watch probably too much and I have probably too many jerseys and I probably think way too much about what I'm wearing and how I'm putting things, but you know, that is me. This is, if you like, my human part in the whole thing. So in any case, I would like to hear about your superstitions. Give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel as it will keep you updated on all the things that are rotating in my soccer universe. And with that, I wish you a wonderful day. Bye!